A lot of Angular developers can create quite complex projects, but when they need to answer a question how to scale it across a lot of teams in the enterprise level company, they have difficulties with it. During last 10 years I analyzed lots of Angular companies and what they are using to scale Angular applications. This is why by the end of this video you will learn how to do that and what is the best tool to solve all these problems. In almost every company where people are using Angular, really often they get a question how to share stuff between different teams, how to collaborate efficiently. If you have, for example, multiple Angular applications and you want to share components, directives, helpers or state between them. For example, if the company implements customer portal, one team might do admin panel, another team would do analytics and third team would do dashboard that the user can use. These three projects are managed by different teams, but they all have shareable things that they want to reuse efficiently without copy-pasting the same code. And this is exactly how we are doing things in my middle to senior bootcamp. We are planning architecture for all our projects before we even start implementing them. And the standard solution in Angular word for that is a Nix. If you don't know what is a Nix, this is a tool that you can use to organize all your applications in one monorepo and create a lot of shareable libs which will be completely isolated, but also can be used across other libraries or across applications. And it has lots of tooling like linting, building, running tests and generating pieces of project with different commands. The most important concept here is monorepo. It means that all your projects and all libraries are living in a single repository. You don't put every single application in a separate repo. It has its own pros and cons that I don't want to cover here, but as you see on this diagram, the main point is that monorepo is a single repo, we have all projects in one place and all libraries in one place. Which actually means when we do some changes in the library, we can use them directly in the application without need to build and release that library, how it would be in the case of multi-repo, when you have a lot of repositories and one of your projects is living in one repository and the library for it is living in other repository. Here everything is in one place, which is simpler from one perspective, but can be more difficult to manage because all developers are working in a single repo and changing stuff at once and you can't really do your stuff differently. So instead of talking how awesome Nix is, let's look how we're using it on the real example. The first command that we're going to execute is npx create nx workspace enterprise workspace which actually means this is our monorepo, our new repository, so just a folder, which will be prepared with all libs and apps. Here I am hitting enter and it is asking what we want. We want here to select Angular application and the question is, is it a standalone application or an integrated monorepo? We obviously want a monorepo and the application name is Enterprise Workspace. What bundler do we want? Yes, build is fine, CSS is fine, no, we don't want server-side rendering, and Jest is also fine. Here for intent we want Cypress, and we don't want to set up our CI. Do we want remote caching? No. And now it will prepare for us a project. Let's have a look on our project. So it created for us the repo, where inside we have apps, and here is our enterprise workspace. This is our first application that it created. We don't have any libs here, but we have the full setup with TypeScript, Jest, ESLint, and Prettier. Now that we have our first application, let's create a library. And just to remind you, this is a piece of shareable logic. It can be an Angular component, a directive, some Redux state, some interfaces, just a function which is a helper, or all at once. This is just an isolated piece that you want to share. And in order to generate a library, we are writing nx generate Angular library in folder libs, and we want our library to have a name domain orders. I'm hitting enter and we're getting a question which test runner we want, just is fine. And now, as you can see, it created for us the orders domain inside our libs, which actually means now we don't only have apps, but also libs and everything which is related to orders, 
can be stored here in domain orders. This is completely isolated piece, which has its own TS config, and inside source index we can use whatever we want. For example, here in lib domain orders there is already a component with some HTML and CSS. So if you want to share something between your teams or applications, this is exactly a way to go. But now additionally I want to create a library for the UI. So we are doing exactly the same Angular library libs orders UI. The main point is that we want to separate the business logic and the UI, which essentially means everything which is related to UI we can pack here in orders UI. And again these both libraries are completely separated. And the last library that I would like to create is called orders data access. And the main idea is that everything which is related to data, like for example API calls, normalizing data, we would put here. And again, this is additional library which is completely isolated. So now we have three different things, like orders, orders data access, and orders UI. And you may think, okay, but I don't really want to have three libraries, it looks too complex, I want just a single library to share. This is totally fine, you can organize it as you want. If you just want to share your service, component, helper and directive, this is totally fine, you can just do it in a single library also. And the last thing that we might need here is to create an additional application, and we can do that just by calling nx generate angular application, and here will be apps slash and the name, for example customer portal. And here we are selecting how we want to build our application. Yes, build is fine. No, we don't need server-side rendering. And here is our project. Now inside apps, we see not only enterprise workspace, but also customer portal. And inside source, here is our app component, which will be rendered. And again, this application customer portal is completely separated from another applications here. So how can we start it? Inside console we can write npx nx serve and the name of our project, for example customer portal. As you can see the angular project was built and we can open it in browser and see the default page. So through nx we get all these commands that we need out of the box like serving, building, linting, testing and so on. Additionally, we are getting full configuration, for example for JustTest and Cypress. And one more command that I want to show you is called nx graph, and it will parse our project and show all our applications and libraries and their relations. Like for example here on the left you can see all projects that we have and libraries. And most importantly you will see dependencies between libraries and applications. It can help you tremendously with debugging stuff. So NX is a standard for scaling Angular applications easier inside your team or company. And if you are serious about becoming a real senior developer and you want to improve your Angular knowledge with planning architecture, testing and creating real complex projects, I highly recommend you to check my middle to senior bootcamp where we are doing exactly that. Check the link in the description.